Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Strakal Orsel by Twelfth Squan. So, as you might have uh, noticed already in the intro, um, Twelfth Squan is a module, a Eurorack maker out of Brittany, uh, which is a territory in France where people are speaking, well, primarily French, probably, uh, but also a language called Breton, uh, which I can't find that much uh, resources for online. Um, so I do have to apologize in my most sincerest form for anyone who does speak Breton uh, or who lives in Brittany um, in France there uh, for me butchering their probably very beautiful language uh, but I'll, I'm going to do my best. But if you do have any sort of examples how I should pronounce these things, drop them in the comments down below, please. Thank you very much. Um, that being said, the Stuckel Orcel is by far one of the most interesting distortion modules I've ever played with. And the main reason for that is, of course, it's, well, it's, it's clear differentiator, which are these two tubes right on there. So... First and foremost, I am using the special edition, which is shipped with two US uh, 56, 54 tubes. Uh, you can also get the regular version, which is shipped with two Russian tubes. Um, and I'll mention which ones those are further down the line. You can, of course, switch out these tubes afterwards, uh, which is, again, something I really like, where you can actually um, change these around and just get a whole new distortion unit by just buying a couple of tubes online or maybe from your local electronics store. Um, I love that. Um, that being said, I do have to thank Alex for, again, for making this uh, unit available for me for testing. Um, that being said, the most important thing of this module is, of course, how it sounds. So without further ado, I would say Make sure you're sitting down, because you're going to enjoy this. Here we go. So here we've got the Straka Orcel in all of its, well, silver and red goodness. I personally truly love this aesthetic. I, I truly love it. Um, I also enjoy the well, the, the other style that uh, uh, Tuel Scran is also doing. That's the, the well, white and black that you've got on the site here. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video on the Stracal Silicium uh, a bit later on, but for today we're going to be focusing on the Stracal Orcel. Um, one thing I was able to find out is that Stracal is apparently the uh, the Breton name for explosion or bang or whatever you want to call it, and I I, I love those kind of names, specifically for uh, distortion units. Uh, but again, let's. Uh, have a quick look at the overall UI. Uh, you've got your input on the right hand side and your output on the left hand side. Um, that, well, <laughs> that uh, takes some getting used to, specifically for me, uh, where I'm typically used to have a left to right uh, workflow. Typically, you'll have your inputs on the left hand side, outputs on the right hand side. Right here, it's just flipped. Uh, but then again, it's not a big thing. Uh, then you've got your switches. Uh, the first one is going to be set in the, well, the first tube in, uh, what's it called again? The pentode mode, which is right down here, or in the triode mode, if you flip it up. And then you've got your feedback, well, knob there, and this is actually going to enable feedback, yes or no. Then you've got your two tubes, of course, uh, which is not exactly a piece of UI, uh, but you do get two specific versions of this model. Um, you can get the so-called Russian version, that which is the regular mode, uh, which is then being shipped with two uh, Russian uh, 6J1P uh, tubes, or you can get the special one, that's this one, uh, which is shipped with two uh, US um, tubes, specifically the uh, 5654W. Um, in this case, these are being produced by Philips, but you can, of course, use other tubes as well. Um, you can, of course, well, a mix and match if you want, uh, but just read the manual to figure out how to do that. Then down below, you've got your Gornid, uh, which is 
yeah, it's it's a volume one, and this is actually well the, the volume between these two tubes, if I understood correctly. And here you've got your amplet, which is essentially well a volume or a gain. This is the input of, for modulating the feedback amount, and um, yeah, you can use that as well. And as you can see, if I turn these things up, you'll see the tubes lighting up as well. I do hope that that comes across correctly on the video. I might just want to make sure that you can see that a bit like this. Hopefully that, uh, that works. So then let's start with the actual sound of this module. So what I'll do is I'll first start off with the, with the noise because that is one thing that you truly want to uh, get a good feel of. So I'm just going to plug this in without anything plugged into the inputs. And let's uh, dive in into some sound exploration. And if we then enable or let's first switch to the tryout mode. I just love that. Let's go into a bit of feedback. So this can of course also be modulated. Um, it doesn't track one volt per octave unfortunately, but it is a beautiful sound. But then again, that's just one use of this. Perfect. So the next thing I want to do is I want to quickly just show you uh, what we're going to be working with. I'm just going to use the owner and I'm just going to be using the sine wave output because then you, you'll actually see the actual distortion that's happening. So that is the amount that we've got. It's just a beautiful sine wave that you can just uh, see there. And if I then just disconnect this, there you go. And let's patch that into the or cell, the struggle or cell. As you can see in here, it adds a lot of character. And if we then switch it to triode, nice right. Let's go back, bit of feedback. But this will really start to shine when it's not just a single note that you patch in there, but once you really get into something that strikes. So what I'll do is I'll, instead of just um, just patching in a, well, just want something, I'm just gonna throw in something from the foundation here. So let me just make sure that we have that, make sure it's been struck by here. And this is the clean sound that we're getting. Make it a bit like that. Add a bit of texture to it. So this is what we're going to be working with. And now let's throw that into the Strakal or cell. So. <laughs> Then 
and also add a bit of feedback to it. Nice, right? So one of the other things you can then also do is, of course, you can switch this around. So instead of just using a, a bass drum, you can also just grab something like a snare. completely destroy that. <laughs> I love that. I, I truly love just playing around with these sort of things. Um, but let's also throw in something that has a bit more melody. So here we go. Uh, we'll have this going on. There you go. So again, I'm using the the Orna, just the sine wave. sound we're just getting from this. And then just change that and put it into the OR cell again. Thank you. 
I truly love this kind of distortion. This is something I I immediately fall in love with. Just this organic dirt and grit. I love that. And I just I can do all sorts of things with this. Just mangle it till you get something you really like. I love it. So that being said, I can just keep on listening to this for for hours on end. But for now, let's just uh, go back to the studio and uh, wrap this up. I'm gonna play around with this for some, for a teeny tiny bit. Cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this uh, quick demo of the Strakel Orcel by 12 Squan. Um, again, I do have to thank Alex for again for uh, making this module available for me for testing and for filming. Um, that being said, I um, yeah, again, I want to thank everyone for their time and for your interest in my videos. Uh, you don't know how much it means to me to see how many people enjoy these. Um, if you do want to support this channel, easiest is of course to uh, use any of the affiliate links down below. Uh, but don't worry if you're uh, unable to do so. Um, I just enjoy that. Uh, I can see that the many people that enjoy these things. Uh, feel free to drop a comment or drop me a line at Jesper at the modularclubhouse.nl if you've got any feedback, any questions, uh, any suggestions even. Um, I'm always open for that. Uh, for now, I would just say, please everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.